e pensare che qui eh, camminando da Via Verdi fino all'arco si cammina in quella che era la navata più centrale della chiesa di San Pier Maggiore secondo me è emozionante, emozionante davvero. Together with colleagues I've been researching the church of San Pier Maggiore and its neighborhood in Florence for over four years. This is a church that was demolished over 200 years ago and the paintings and sculptures that were inside are now dispersed in galleries and museums around the world. Our initial motivation was an exhibition at the National Gallery in London where we wanted to provide some context for some paintings that came from the church that are now in the gallery's collection in London. But as soon as we arrived in Florence and engaged with the material, with the site, it became clear that this wasn't going to be a conventional research project of the kind we'd been used to. More of the church survived than we initially thought, but it was embedded with in modern buildings, buildings which are now apartments and businesses and shops. And so began our engagement with the local community, uh, with owners and residents who opened up their spaces to us, pointed us in the direction of interesting fragments that they already knew. And what was especially pleasing for us is we could see that they were becoming more interested in their surroundings and how the fragments of stonework and of masonry, of arches and pillars, might actually have fitted together into a larger whole of the church overall. In a way, I see the public changing their perception of the space. The residents are knowing more about their houses and the place they live in. But also, it changed the path of my research because sometimes I'm getting emails from the residents telling me, um, you know, I came across this interesting source, would you like to have a look? And so I find out more about a particular chapel or a particular devotion to a local saint. And this adds up to a fantastic story that uh, has been hidden for many years in the very centre of Florence. The project has grown organically and now the University of Cambridge has linked up with the University of Exeter with generous funding from the Getty Foundation to move forward with our reconstruction of San Pierre Maggiore. And this combines our respective interests and expertise in 3D modelling and in geolocation. And we realised that a geolocated app could reinstate the church here in Florence in a way that a conventional exhibition never could. I'm Luca and I'm the researcher and 3D modeler of this project. And we are here working with various new technologies. We are bringing the space back to life. We are using mainly laser scanning. And for this we went from place to place here, set up the, the scan station or the laser. We are measuring it around it and creating a sphere of points in a 3D space. We wanted to capture the responses and reactions of the local community here in the neighbourhood of San Pierre Maggiore to the new app. And this is an app uh, to which they have all contributed in a very substantial way. It's been especially rewarding these last few days, taking the app that we've produced and putting it into the hands of the local residents, watching them as they explore the model to find their homes and their shops, uh, discovering the way that the puzzle of the research that's been put together by the team over the last few years, and uh, finding their place in that rather complicated puzzle. 
con qualche domanda siamo riusciti a capire della colonna da lì, se non sbaglio, se non ricordo male, se sono passati tanti anni, sì. è partito un po' il, il grosso della ricerca presentando altre persone, altre, altre persone che hanno le case e ci avete fatto scoprire, almeno a me, altre persone sapevano la storia, ma almeno a me mi avete fatto scoprire la colonna di che cos'era di, e tutta questa cosa, poi l'ho un po' pubblicizzata e la gente chiede si informa, vuol vedere la colonna e quindi questa cosa ogni tanto porta a, delle, a degli scambi di opinioni, di parole, di clienti, se ne parla di questa cosa sicuramente, anche stamani eravate qui tutto il giorno, la gente mi ha chiesto cosa fanno, ah la chiesa sì è vero, mi hanno chiesto e hanno fatto, sicuramente la gente ha ritenuto interessante la cosa. Avevamo sempre saputo che questa era una vecchia chiesa, però dopo il lavoro fatto da voi è venuto fuori un capolavoro qua. È quasi, è quasi incredibile, insomma. Veng vengono fuori delle situazioni che sono quasi incredibili. Che qua ci fosse stato la st nella strada, qua all'ingresso dell'altare, dell della chiesa, e qua giù in fondo alla strada, l'altare. Dopo tre o quattro anni di grossi lavori da parte di questa bella equip, siamo riusciti a tirar fuori questo capolavoro. E pensare che qui, eh, camminando da Via Verdi fino all'arco, si cammina in quella che era la navata più centrale della chiesa di San Pier Maggiore, secondo me è emozionante, emozionante davvero. Si riesce sicuramente a capire come era strutturata prima, sicuramente per, anche per noi fiorentini che molti non sanno neanche che esisteva una chiesa, ma sia per un turista o uno studioso che per lui è sicuramente una cosa comoda e interessante. Come era la chiesa? Hai dato la chiesa prima? Sì, sì. Era così, la strada, come era? Come era? Eh, sì, era una chiesa. Probabilmente terra. Questa era terracotta, mi sa, no? Sì, terracotta, guarda. Beccato non c'è più. <ride> Grazie per aver fatto questa digitalizzazione che credo sarà molto importante. Per noi lo è tantissimo, soprattutto per i nostri nipoti e coloro mm -hmm. che verranno, perché se non ci fossero queste ricerche mm -hmm. la memoria eh, sparisce veramente molto in fretta. Mm -hmm. Grazie. I'm Franco Nicolucci, professor at the University of Florence, and with my team we are doing a similar, similar work on other monuments, we did the reconstruction of the Murate convent, and we have been collaborating with this team since uh, uh, 2015. I think that what they have uh, made uh, about San Pier Maggiore is very valuable work because it has sound scientific basis and a very nice interface for visitors and for the uh, public at large. I'm standing in front of Jacopo de Cione's great altarpiece made for the Florentine Church of San Pier Maggiore. Now this altarpiece has been in the National Gallery's collection since 1857, but the church has been completely destroyed and most visitors to the gallery have no sense of its original context and space. And so it's been really exciting for me and my colleagues here to work with Fabrizio Nevola, Donald Cooper and the guys at Calvium on creating an app which can take people from 21st century London to 14th century Florence and to put this painting back into the lost space for which it was made 700 years ago. We know a tremendous amount thanks to what this project has done about what the church looked like. This was an, only in our imagination until a recreation of the entire space was made possible. This project has put us in a position to imagine the work of art in its context in a way that is completely new. What it will do is enlarge that audience to a much, much larger group.